Welcome back. We have already learned how to detect some basics and advanced hand gestures and create events out of them. And we have also created two games using the advanced hand gestures. Today we will be learning about the body pose gestures or the body stance. Basically we will be using our body to control a game. So without any due, let's get started. I'll click on new game builder and this time I will select AI body pose game. Once I do this, I'm into the body pose now and you can see the hand pose the section, the hand pose section has, is now changed to pose net. Okay. Now I am not getting any hand detected. I'm getting the pose detected and I'm getting the position of nose and everything. Okay. So first of all, I'll show you what kind of data uh, we'll be getting through this. So I have done this and I am giving it a name, body pose game. Okay. And then I'll play it. Yeah. So now I'll turn on the key points and you can see now I'm not getting the hand points. I'm only getting some points like the shoulder points, the elbow points, the wrist joints, eyes, nose, and uh, the lips actually. So we will be using these key points to create our game. First of all, I'll create a sprite and map it onto my nose. In order to do that, I'll go to sprite, create sprite, and I'm using a B sprite. Okay. So I'm going to click on it, create B. And now, now I'm going to upload an image and select my B image and I'll save it. And now you can see a B on the center of the screen. The B is currently large in size. So I'll reduce the size. I'll reduce the scale to 50%. Save. And now if I play the game, yeah, you can see the sprite is smaller. And now the next thing is I want to track it or map it onto my nose. Okay. So first of all, I'll turn off the key points and then I'll do this control. If pose is detected, I'll set the position of my B sprite to my nose i can select any point I, I like but i am using this point nose point okay and uh, stop it save and reload the game ah yeah you can see i am having the b on my nose and it is following wherever i am moving my head okay so this is how you can actually use these pose net or these key points to map your sprites and create some events now I'm going to create a game in which we have to save our B sprite from uh, incoming fire. Okay. So the fire would start from anywhere from the screen and any corner of the screen and then uh, it will come towards our B, but we will try to save it. Okay. Uh, our job is to save our B from that fire. Okay. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll create another sprite, which is named as fire. I'll set it and then upload the image. So this is my image. You can see currently it has a lot of space around it. I can crop it. Once I crop it, the extra space is gone. And now this will be my total sprite. I can save it. Then I will also reduce the fire size to 70% and set its initial position to somewhere around here. So this is zero in Y and width in X. We'll go to world. I'll use this and save it. Now let's check how it is looking. So I'll try to play this game. And you can see uh, there is my sprite, the fire sprite. Currently, I guess the fire sprite is still bigger. So I'll reduce the size to 50%. I'll reduce it to 50% again. And uh, fire. Sorry, I forgot to change this. Okay. Uh, yes. Now, once this is done, I will try to move my sprite from this position towards the B position. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll use a block move sprite towards the B. So I'll go to get 
sprite position and i'll select b save okay i can increase the speed which will be like three and save okay now let's play the game and let's wait for it and you can see now wherever i'm moving my head the fire is following it okay yeah but nothing is happening when both the sprites are colliding okay so i need to do something whenever this will happen whenever both our sprites collide we will stop our game okay so we'll stop and we'll use a block if fire is touching another sprite which is b we will stop the game stop game loop and save and then i'll use another block which says game over and i'll increase the size to 48 uh, i want it to be big i want it in white color and then I'll create the position. I want it in the center. So half width and half height. Save. Let's see what will happen now. So I'll wait, wait, wait and game over. Okay. So yeah, uh, this is a basic game this is what we wanted but what if uh, how do I calculate the score in this so the score can be calculated by the time uh, by the seconds actually how much second how many seconds the B was alive okay so I'll do this thing I'll go to variables I'll create a variable create a variable name score set it up as zero initially set our game score to the score variable and then I'll do this. So I'll go to mathematics, pick up this block, variable, and not mathematics actually. I'll set the score to, I have this block which give me get time in minute, second or milliseconds. So I'll use the second block and I'll then duplicate this. So I want to keep it outside the if block, if condition, save and let's see what will happen so the score should reflect the number of seconds uh the b was alive so one second two second three second let's try to save it five second seven second eight second game over nine second i was able to do it for nine second okay so this was a very basic game which we just created uh, using the body pose mechanism or the pose net mechanism okay it was very simple you can also make a similar game using your hand but it's more fun to play with your body uh, it mo it's more fun to move your body around move your face around and try to save the b sprite uh, from that fire okay i would recommend you guys to make this game on your system and play with your friends we will meet in the next class